Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. The bitter bust-up of Pauline Hanson's Senate team has descended into a bloody confrontation in the halls of Parliament House. Senator Brian Burston, who defected to the United Australia Party, clashed with Senator Hanson's Chief of Staff, leaving one nursing a cut hand and the other stripped of his parliamentary pass. Andrew Green reports. Go away, James. How do you feel about the sexual harassment Go cases? Go away, James. It's all... Listen here. What are you doing? Disorder in the Disorder. house. I'll call the uh, federal police. What are you doing? It's all You're harassing me. What are you doing? You're harassing me. An ugly late-night altercation inside Parliament pitting Pauline Hanson's top adviser James Ashby on the left against former party colleague Brian Burston on the right. Within moments, the One Nation leader was rushing to her Chief of Staff's defence. There was a scuffle there, it was actually photographed, and it was Brian who went back and attacked James, and uh, he was um, swearing, and it's all been captured on film. But in the cold light of day, the Senate President had reached a very different conclusion. The video footage that I have reviewed records the reported incident between Senator Burston and Mr James Ashby last night. It shows inappropriate behaviour by a pass holder towards a senator. And James Ashby was sent packing. I have exercised my authority to revoke Mr James Ashby of his pass to access the building and prohibit him from re-entering the building for the time being. But what of the mysterious blood smeared on Pauline Hanson's office door? Whilst I do not uh, recall the incident of blood on the door, I now have come to the conclusion that it was myself and I sincerely apologise for that action. Last night's dust-up had been brewing for days. First, Pauline Hanson used parliamentary privilege to cryptically suggest an unnamed senator had form on sexual harassment. That in turn led Brian Burston to claim his former leader made unwanted sexual advances towards him for years. I might be 64 now, but I tell you what, I'm not that desperate. Oh. Now, just eager to clean up a desperate mess. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra. And Senator Hanson and her Chief of Staff, James Ashby, have just arrived back in Brisbane. This is what they had to say. Apparently they don't, because he's a senator. And I think the rules are one for one and, and totally different for, for everyone else. Look, I accept the decision that's been um, handed down by the President. Um, all I ask is that the President does do a thorough investigation. Mr Ashby says he wants to ensure women in the workplace are protected.